The Sydney Indian summer provided a glorious afternoon at Brookvale Oval for two sides which have been struggling with injuries to key players. It was the Seagulls first on the scoreboard. Glenn Stewart too good when he drifted to the right. To Glenn Stewart, brushes away from one. Over the top to Dean Barre. And the home team come up with the first points. Manly celebrates. And there were ominous signs for the Raiders when Steve Matai galloped out of dummy half. Zooms out of acting half. Only one in front. He beats Dugan. Now the support arrives. Daly Cherry Evans. Ferguson is back there. Cherry Evans spins, throws the ball straight to the tackler. But Canberra soaked up the pressure and a repeat set of six at the other end gave them their first real attacking opportunity. McCrone forward straight to Josh Papali who crosses untouched. The rest of the first half was all about what might have been, with both sides showing attacking flair. Anthony Watmo looked a certainty for the score sheet. Sitting it up for Watmo, a beautiful ball that's gone forward in the eyes of the officials. While a speeding Blake Ferguson was only denied by a brilliant defensive effort from Brett Stewart. Here's Ferguson trying to burn Manly off the ball inside. And again the whistle sounds well nearly. The scoreboard belied the entertaining and enterprising first half with nothing separating the two sides at the break. The Raiders were under the pump early in the second half, Liam Foran showing tremendous strength. Backing his way towards the end goal and over the goal line, the ball pops out. But the replays were inconclusive and Jared Maxwell ruled the ball had been grounded in goal by the Raiders. But Manley didn't waste the extra possession, clinical passing stretching the Canberra line. Now Cherry Evans, second man play for Stewart. He goes out the line, looking great, numbers, diving for the corner. Dean Farrow reckons he's got there. So does the big football crowd, but most importantly, so does Jared Maxwell. The plucky Raiders struck back, Josh McCrone putting Tom Leroy Lars through a hole. For Leroy Lars on the charge, still going Tommy Leroy. If the big prop couldn't quite get through, the Raiders had a fullback who could. Dugan out of acting half, trying to twist, still trying to get to the grass. He might have done it, Josh Dugan. It's not flashy, it's not long range, but they're all worth four points. It was scintillating stuff, Matai punishing Raiders defenders for turning their backs. Dugan on Matai, back inside Farre, touched by Dugan, still on for Cherry Evans, bouncing in the end goal. The try was a little scrappy, so was Lyons' conversion, but it was enough to give the home side a four-point lead. Again and again, the visitors came agonisingly close, but the Maroon line stood firm. Here's Fenson, up the middle, trying to get the ground, held up, held up, held up the ruling. In their desperation to score, Canberra threw everything at the staunch Manly defenders. Now he kicks, that was off Manly, still not in the touch, still the line. McCrone along the ground, back there, Cherry Evans knocks it backwards, jumped on in goal by Canberra. But a careful look by the video referee revealed the ball just grazing the sideline. A penalty in front made it a converted try the difference with nine minutes remaining. In front, bumps Manly out by six points. And that's how it stayed, despite a late field goal attempt from Cherry Evans. The frenetic game ending with a six-point victory to the Seagulls. Melinda Farrell, Big Pond Sport.